And now I'm going to cover the, the, the idea of how to program and uh, use a master box like this one, uh, this S2S box here, that's already been fully pre-programmed. The program of a slave box, which has not been programmed yet. And we do this uh, uh, using a um, RS-232 cable. Now this is a far preferable way of programming a box in comparison to using a, um, an auto scan because it's much quicker, number one, and number two is it gives us the channels in exactly the order that we're looking for them. So how this is going to work is, uh, we actually take, um, we have the main satellite box plugged in and working away like this. We, we push in the power lead for the second box, but we leave the power lead off. So if you actually look at the switch on the wall, the power lead is off. And we come along, we get the RS-232 cable. We plan, plug it into the master box first. And then we plug it into the satellite uh, receiver. Now, the satellite receiver doesn't even need an, an LMB uh, cable coming from the satellite dish connected. And the reason it doesn't need this is... It's able to, um, uh, it's simply transferring software, it's taking nothing off the satellite itself. So uh, there's a very, very neat trick here. We simply turn on the slave box, and immediately the master box can detect the slave box that it's connected to it uh, via an RS-232 cable, and it simply begins to upgrade the software for you. And that is it. You simply leave it then. After a space of about four to five minutes, um, this slave box will have copied all the software and the writing will go off the screen. Now at that point what we can do is we can put in a power lead or put in a satellite lead and connect scarcely and check that the box has worked. But you'll find quite, quite quickly if you're doing a lot of boxes, it always works. It's a very, very good system. It's very, very user friendly. And if you're going to use an RS-232 cable to program up um, various different types of um, um, digital satellite receivers uh, using RS-232, um, you'll find that this is the best methodology I have come across to do it because it's so easy, no buttons push, it's an automatic process and the second the RS-232 cable is connected to the box that's turned on, it immediately um, starts transferring data.